we're watching those clouds really push in from the west as those fast moving storms start to make their way into our area for an opportunity of a late night thunderstorm or two as we make our way into those evening hours into the early tomorrow morning. Right now we're getting a good look at those temperatures across the board. Seeing everybody hold on to the 80s and upper 70s right now as we make our way into the evening. Going to be dropping down to the mid 60s upper level pattern. Going to give you an idea of how these storms are going to be moving. We're going to start to see this sort of channel or corridor of quick moving air through that's going to create a lot of moisture as you start to see this upper level pattern with a lot of ridging moving over Texas, really keeping those conditions dry. This is that low pressure system moving in over California for sort of the Rocky Mountain, Great Lakes, re or Salt Lake region. You're going to start seeing a lot of this colder air being pushed down in from Canada where we're talking about a lot of that smoke kind of moving into our area. And that's what's really going to create this boundary of moist air that's really going to keep things more off to the west of us. And then for them, they're really going to kind of hold on to that sort of low pressure system moving in the area, you're really going to see that boundary become more defined, and that's where that path is really going to move down through that moisture. We're really seeing that Texas dry line push off to the east, where to the west of the Contro Valley, that's where we're really going to start seeing a lot of that dry air shape up to give us more of a drier June. Good idea of how those storms are going to move across the nation, where you're really going to see them kind of stay along that boundary line, really more to the northeast of the Contro Valley. And we could see a couple clouds moving in from that region, but as we make our way through the weekend into the week, you're really going to see those clouds and those storms really staying more towards the north, really kind of capitalizing on a lot of the uh, smoke and dust in the air for some of those storms. Getting a good look at the conditions right now across the nation, really seeing a lot of that low pressure and the moisture really moving up to the north. We get a good look across Texas, really watching those line of severe storms push through very quickly, and that's what's going to be affecting us later tonight as we start talking about those overnight hours, seeing that those cloud cover really pushing, starting to see a lot of those developing uh, storms moving in from the west, really starting to start moving in quickly, but we're only shaping up to see a severe storm here or there tonight, so still good opportunity for some rain, getting a good look at those rain chances or those temperatures outside right now. As we can see the stark contrast here between the temperatures and sort of what's going on right now as you see that temperature dropping behind there. Everybody mostly holding on to the 70s and 80s right now. And then we get a good idea of the humidity out there and those dew points really kind of staying in those cooler temperatures. So staying, definitely getting to that point where things are drying out more. And you could definitely feel it today as those uh, clouds really pushed out. You could see the sun really kind of just evaporate everything that was kind of around it, really getting us up into those upper 90s today. And then you're going to see those storms really pushing through later tonight, kind of move through in a quick line, and they're going to push out by Thursday morning and kind of really clear up for a better, brighter day as we're going to see temperatures touch up into the mid-90s. So tonight, again, temperatures going to be dropping down into the mid-60s. Could see an opportunity for a rain or a thunderstorm here or there tonight into the early morning hours tomorrow. We're going to see those clouds really push out. Temperatures going to be up into the mid-90s, and that's really going to kind of be the the trend as we start to see temperatures touch up into the triple digit by this weekend where we're going to see this warming trend slowly but as we talk about those low temperatures that's where we're going to really see them stay up into those lower 70s so we're really above average for this time of the year and that's going to be the case as we make our way into that second week of june where you're really starting to see those temperatures touch up into the triple digit with those low temperatures really stay down in the 70s stay tuned we'll have more case and news up after the break